Hi everyone, I'm here with Nicola from Foka. Hi. And you were the, uh, what did you have to do with the... So basically I'm the uh, product uh, marketing group manager at Foka. So uh, uh, I'm managing the, the, let's say the product manager team, uh, be it for uh, iFi, uh, car audio, uh, pro audio and also headphones. So if I just move the camera slightly, You'll see that you have the most popular booth here this time. Yeah, it's been uh, two crazy days uh, for us at Kanjam. Uh, actually, it's our first Kanjam, so uh, we didn't know what to expect. Uh, and to be uh, honest, it's a very successful show for us. Uh, and it's great also because thanks to uh, Kanjam, we can get the feedback from the um, uh, people using our headphones, so um, always very interesting to, to get the feedback straight from these guys. And just to clarify, Focal has made the Utopia, the Elir, and the third one on is the Listen. Yep. Yeah, basically here we are uh, demoing our three new headphones. Um, Listen is the mobile headphones from Focal, uh, priced at uh, 199 euro. Uh, Ilir is the audiophile headphones, uh, priced at uh, 9.99 euros, and uh, Utopia is the reference headphones from Focal at 39.99 euros. Basically, both Ilir and Utopia are featuring the uh, brand new uh, technology and innovation we did on the uh, driver. Uh, Ilir and Utopia are using a fully open back uh, driver design. When I mean a fully open back, is the driver has no ports at all, no holes and so on. It's really fully open, so there is no uh, acoustic load on it. Uh, the driver itself gives the uh, tonal balance, frequency response of the headphones. Uh, there is uh, nothing more uh, or nothing less than the driver itself. So the Utopia has so much hype around it. Yeah. It took four years to create the driver, I believe, right? Yeah, we spent, uh, yeah, exactly, these uh, two projects uh, took four years uh, for us. Why? Because basically we had to uh, innovate on these new technologies, uh, mainly on three key things. Uh, the first one is obviously the uh, dome. Uh, on both Ear and Utopia we developed a brand new dome shape called M-shaped dome. Why? Because here the idea was to um, offer the very same feeling uh, than the one you have when you listen to a pair of speakers in a room. That's to say to get a planar waveform out of a pair of headphones without using the planar magnetic technology. So using electrodynamic drivers uh, to do so we had to develop a new dome shape called M-shape which is uh, very flat and gives you the planar waveform at some point. Also we uh, innovated on uh, voice coil which is there the only voice coil uh, in the market made of one layer winding without any former any support in order to have a very very light voice coil at the same time and the voice coil is very interesting because it's a 25 millimeter diameter one so one inch and five millimeter five millimeter high so that allows a very important uh, mobile displacement uh, let's say big x max of the mobile equipment of a driver in order to give the best dynamic possible and to finish with, we developed a very interesting surround with a very, very small thickness, less than 70 microns, to offer very uh, the best compliance ever and also to offer a very low mass in the same time. And both the Ilir and the Utopia utilize this technology? Yes, both of Ilir and Utopia are using this technology. The two differences between Ilir and Utopia are on the magnet side. Uh, Ilir is using um, round neodymium magnets, whereas Utopia is using five segments of neodymium uh, within a magnet structure. That gives um, more magnet fields, obviously. And uh, also the dome are different. Uh, the Ilir dome is made of uh, an alloy of aluminium magnesium whereas Utopia is made of pure beryllium. So this is basically the core ID regarding the designs and the differences between Ilir and Utopia. I see. And the Listen is um, targeted for a portable listening? Yeah, Listen is a portable listening uh, headphones. It's mobile headphones uh, from Focal. So I would say the, your daily headphones you will carry on uh, 
when traveling or moving yeah, around. No need for amping. No, no, no. It's a plug and play solution on your smartphone and so on. Okay. 32 ohm impedance, whereas uh, Ilir and Utopia are 80 ohms. So, what are some interesting comments you've gotten from people in the last two days? Uh, basically, the dynamic of Ilir and Utopia. Uh, this is what we got first of all. Uh, people didn't expect such dynamic. And uh, yeah, the uh, tonal balance overall, but the best is to, to ask people for that because <laughs> I mean, these, uh, these guys listen to the product and, uh, and that's probably the, the best way to, to get their feedback. And when are these going to be available? Uh, in Europe, so they are available in the US uh, since a few weeks now. And in Europe, we're gonna start introducing them uh, uh, during uh, September, I would say. Okay, so thank you very much thank for the you. interview. Thanks. And see you later.